Hello and welcome to tennis.com.au and the daily results update for Monday the 19th of April and great news overnight. Sam Stoza has captured her second WTA title in Charleston in the USA. Stoza was in superb form hitting 36 winners in the final of the Family Circle Cup beating Russians Vera Zvonareva 6-love 6-3 in 52 minutes. The win put Stoza back inside the world top 10 and is a perfect way to begin her clay court preparations for the upcoming French Open. Stephen Healy has today been elected as the next president of Tennis Australia. Healy beat Paul McNamee in the election and will take over from Jeff Pollard in October. Healy says he wants to grow the game at all levels. I think the Australian Open's in fantastic shape and internationally we're in great shape. So it's about grassroots participation and player development. Ashley Barty has continued her excellent form by winning the Grade 4 ITF Junior event in Ipswich. Barty beat fourth seed Emily Fanning in the final to add to the Optus 14s and 16s national clay court titles she won during the past two weeks. In the boys singles final, Josh Baranchia was too good for fourth seed Mark Richard winning in straight set 6-2-6-1. The Queensland Festival of Tennis continues this week with the Gallipoli Youth Tennis Cup taking place in Ipswich. In other weekend results, Jamila Groth made the semi-finals of the $100,000 ITF event in Johannesburg, South Africa. Greg Jones also reached the semi-finals of an ATP Challenger event in Lyon, Mexico, while Nick Lindahl lost in the quarterfinals of the Baton Rouge Pro Tennis Classic. In matches coming up, Leighton Hewitt and Peter Luchak head to Barcelona for the Barcelona Open. On an interesting side note, Peter Luchak is stuck in Sweden and has to drive 30 hours to Barcelona. Luchak faces Ernest Gulbis in the first round, while Hewitt takes on Turkey's Marcel Ilhan. There are five Aussies in action at the Tallahassee Tennis Challenger, including Carsten Ball, who is the number six seed. James Lemke, Bernard Tomic and Matt Reed are all playing futures events in Europe, while Maria Mirkovic and Monica Vaynert are in qualifying for a $25,000 ITF event in Korea. That's it for today. Join us here tomorrow for all your latest Aussie results.